please subscribe, like and activate the bell if you like the content, so we can continue for more. Give your opinions and suggestions in the comments so that we can develop the channel thank you. Dottasila Arazila is a Moroccan city located on the edge of the Atlantic Ocean. In three decades, this city has undergone major transformations in terms of infrastructure, public facilities and forms of urbanization, and has been able to transform itself into an important cultural and tourist center, towards which thousands of intellectuals go on pilgrimage every year. The city of Asila has a population of 31,825, according to 2013 estimates. The city is a center of great cultural influence in Morocco in general and in the Jbala region in particular, as it contains the largest sky art gallery market of Morocco represented in the alleys of the city and its white districts with Mediterranean influences, characterized by the authentic Moroccan architectural style. The city has been known since Phoenician times under the Berber name Zilis or Zili. But after the second Islamic establishment of it, it was known as Asila, which is an Arabic word, and the reason for the similarity between the Phoenician and Arabic names is not known. During the Portuguese occupation, it was called Arzila, and the city retained that name even after the Islamic revival in 1550. It is also known as Azila, which is a name a corruption of the word Arzila. It is strange that the inhabitants of the city, to this day, as well as the inhabitants of the area known as Jabala, to which the city belongs, adhere to a strange lineage formula for the city, which is to call the son of the city of Asila Azilashi. The history of the emergence of the city of Azila Asila dates back more than 2,000 years. It was inhabited by the Berbers before the Phoenicians and the Carthaginians, until it turned into an occupied Roman fortress bearing the name of Zilis, 40 kilometers south of Tangier. Most of the historical writings relating to the pre-Islamic era are contradictory and confuse the city of Zilis, Asila, and the city of Zul al dishar al jadid which is located in the rural community of Al-Kalwa, which is only 13 kilometers east of the city of Asila, so it cannot be relied upon to establish a history of the city in pre-Islamic times. But there is evidence that the city of Asila did not exist during the Islamic conquest, and it may have been destroyed during the Vandal invasion. As for the current city, its creation dates back to the year 229 of the Hijra by the Almoravids of the Berbers of Kathima and Huara to face the maritime invasions of the Vikings. The city at that time consisted of residential complexes surrounded by a wall and watchtowers. At the end of the 3rd century A, the city received one of the most important Andalusian migrations before the occupation of Granada, namely the migration of the inhabitants of Shaduna, who fled the oppression of the Umayyad prince Abdullah bin Muhammad bin Abd al-Rahman after the failure of their revolution. This massive migration made Asila an important cultural center in northern Morocco. The city gained great importance during the Idrisid era in northern Morocco 922-985, when the city of Asila became an important commercial port linking Morocco with cities on the European coast on the Mediterranean. This importance grew gradually over the following centuries. In 1307 the city was full of foreign companies belonging to the cities of Genoa and Venice, and from that year the city of Barcelona entered a line of commercial competition. Kama she had five trading companies also. In 1465, the city of Asilu entered the line of the Wadazid Marini conflict, where Sultan Muhammad Sheikh al Mahdi al Warasi chose it as the capital and center of attack for the Marinid capital, Fez. The Portuguese took advantage of the departure of Sultan Muhammad al Sheikh al Mahdi from his capital to attack the city of Fez in 1471, to attack the city with a naval fleet consisting of 477 ships with 30,000 Portuguese. King Alfonso V of Portugal led the campaign himself accompanied by his crown prince, ministers and high nobles of Portugal. The townspeople with their boats resisted the Portuguese ships at sea, where they managed to kill 200 Portuguese soldiers, but the lack of support led to their defeat by the attackers, who occupied the town, killed 2,000 people among its inhabitants. Kama and captured 5,000 others, including the crown prince of the Wutazid Sultanate, Prince Muhammad of Portugal, who had not passed the age of 10. After the news reached Sultan Ahmed Sheikh al Mahdi, who was at the gates of the city of Fez, he negotiated with the Portuguese king about the prisoners. Alfonso V responded to his request in exchange for a truce signed by both parties for a period of 20 years and recognition by the Moroccan authorities of Portuguese ownership of the cities, Asila, Ceuta, and Alcacer al Sagir. After the city was occupied, neighboring tribes staged a violent rebellion, refusing to sign the truce. These tribes established forts and castles in order to guard the city and plunder it. 
These tribes attacked the city 12 times, and these attacks had a strong impact on the city's economy as it changed from an important trading center to a target for Moroccan pirates, and so Portuguese settlers began to leave, fearing for their lives. These attacks, led by the princes of Bonnie Eris, led to the recapture of the city in 1550 and the expulsion of the Portuguese. In 1576, Sultan Muhammad al mutawakkil al-Sadi handed over the city to the Portuguese. This act, considered a betrayal of the Moroccan people, led to the deposition of Sultan al mutawakkil and the installation of Abd al malik i al-Sadi, but al mutawakkil sent for help from his Portuguese allies, which led to the outbreak of the Battle of Wadi al-Magzin in 1578, which Portugal's King San Sebastian fell to his death. The city was able to return to Moroccan rule under the leadership of Sultan Ahmed al Mansur al Dahabi in 1589. Subsequently, the city experienced its architectural and economic apogee, since it found what it was in its previous era, especially under the reign of Prince Al Khidr Gail in 1654 1673, who made it a commercial port and a maritime jihad center and for attacking the city of Tangier, which was still under Portuguese occupation. The city continued to belong to the princes of Jihad in the region of Al Had until 1692, when it was seized by Sultan Ismail bin Ali al Sharif al Alahi. During the Alawite era, the city of Asila was known as an important trading port and as a base for Muslim pirates in the North Atlantic. Piracy continued from the shores of Asila for several decades until the end of the 19th century, and the city's pirates caused diplomatic problems in Morocco especially after being exposed to the Austrian fleet in 1828, and Austria responded after that by bombarding the city from the coast in the year 1829 at the beginning of the 20th century, the city of Asila became a stronghold of the chief Ahmed al Salmi, who extended his influence over a large part of the northern lands, before the Spaniards drove him out in 1924 and tightened their hold until independence in 1956. The city of Asila is located 31 kilometers south of Tangier in a plain area on the Atlantic coast surrounded by the Wadi El Halal River, whose mouth is located on the coast of the city. The city is located in a coastal plain area, but it turns into a hill immediately after leaving the city. The height of the city's highest point is 53 meters above sea level, recorded in the city-affiliated village of Dagalion, while the height is zero at the beach. The city benefits from a coastline of 17.2 kilometers, but it is dominated by rocky beaches, which represent excellent fisheries for fishing enthusiasts. There are also very beautiful fine sandy beaches, such as, Sidi Magath, El Aona, Sidi Ahmed Zoak, Paradise and the Hammam Cave. There are also several rocks along the coast which are important nesting areas for seabirds, especially gulls. The area of the city is 33 square kilometers and includes, in addition to the city, some of the surrounding villages, which lie within the urban orbit. Matashri Bautnan and Margab are located in the southern part of the city, while the remaining Matashri are located in the eastern part of it. The city is characterized by a mild and Mediterranean climate, rainy and moderately cold from October to May, and dry and moderately hot during the summer. The average annual rainfall reaches 758 mm and the temperature fluctuates between a minimum of 7 degrees in January and a maximum of 28.5 degrees in August. The ancient city of Asila is considered a charming space with its narrow paths and elegant alleys, its houses clad in white and blue in a beautiful compactness, its doors and windows wrapped in bright blue and bright green, and its murals decorated with plastic drawings by artists of different schools and generations, and the enclosure walls that date from the time of the Portuguese. It is possible to enter the quarters of the ancient city through three gates, Bab al-Kasbah, Bab al-Bar and Bab al-Homer, and inside there is Caesarea for the products of traditional industry, and Hal Camera Square in which outdoor parties are held during the city's cultural season, and another square overlooking the sea that people call square. al tikan leads to the famous al quraiki Ayat Tower, which overlooks the ocean, and through which one can enjoy the sunset, look at the city's port and admire the tomb of Sidi Ahmed al-Mansur one of the Mujahideen who resisted the Portuguese occupation. The neighborhoods of the old town are characterized by their great cleanliness and the great competition between their inhabitants to decorate the facades of their houses with plants and plants, which could give one of them the opportunity to win the environmental prize, the results of which will be announced during the cultural season. The ancient city was built in the shape of a rectangle facing the beach, and it consists of five main districts, Alcaceri Iaia, the district which contains the markets, Hamtai Bianayad, 
Hamtao Mujamu Hamtao Karakiaia, the Portuguese quarter in the Casbah, which is a large rectangular castle facing the sea and is the first nucleus of the city and contains the mosque and the first towers built during the 3rd century. These districts are separated by several alleys, one of which is locally called Al Maj, the most important of which are Hajj Al Qadriya, Al Qadi Ali, Trade Street, Hajj Al Qataniya, Hajj Ibn Hamdouch, Hajj Ibn Amr, Hajj Sidi Mbarak, and Hajj Sidi Ibn Issa. In the center of the city are three squares of varying size Al Kamra Square, which is the largest, Al Taken Square, and Ibn Issa Square. The old town is surrounded by a wall with a length of 1,200 meters and a height of between 7 and 5 meters, pierced by five gates. Bab al Bar, located northwest of the city, opposite the port. Bab al Kasaba, it is located in the northeastern part of the city and leads to the Al Kasaba area. Bab al Salk is located in the eastern wall of the city and leads to the Al Kasriyaya quarter. Bab al Homer is also located east of the city. Bab al Qurakiyaya it is located in the southwest corner of the city and leads to the al Qurakiyaya tower. The wall also permeates nine towers and forts, the most important of which is the Qurakiyaya tower. Outside the wall, there is a neighborhood of Lalarama opposite Bab al Hamar, and this neighborhood is considered the outskirts of the city, because it was a place for Jews and Muslims to live, far from the atmosphere of the salt flats of the rest of the other Moroccan cities. There is still in the neighborhood a large Jewish cemetery built to overlook the Atlantic Ocean, and there is also in the neighborhood a tomb of one of the most famous righteous saints of the city of Asila, Lalarama, who would have been martyred during one of the attempts to recover the city. The Parada neighborhood is considered one of the oldest established neighborhoods behind the wall, as it was established by the Spanish government during its occupation of the city from 1924 to 1956. Today, the Parada area contains this called the districts. The administrative district, Ansa, Rubat Old Yanwil, Rumau Laismail, Ruyarmalk, Rudoha, Ru Alhamra, and Ru Al Zarkatani. This area gathers to the south and the east of the wall. Most of these neighborhoods are upscale neighborhoods. As the new neighborhoods extend to the south of the Parada complex, it is linked to the neighborhoods Haifa, Gadir Al Ganoui, Al Fatimia, Al Sakaya, Al Wadadia, Mal Idris, Marjabi Al Taeb, Sidi, and Al Lu. Most of them are popular neighborhoods. The city of Asila has many historical monuments, including, the Great Mosque, its period of construction dates back to the 3rd century of the Hijra and it continued to fulfill its functions as a religious beacon for the city of Asila for a thousand years. The mosque is a rectangular building covered in white plaster, and is overseen by two modern minarets and an old one, which were built on an octagonal form of Andalusian origin. Al Kamra Square and Tower, this is a square-shaped square overlooking Bab Al Bar from the northern side of the city, in the middle of which is a square-shaped tower, which is the historical symbol of the city of Asila. The period of construction of the tower dates back to the end of the 15th century by the Portuguese, and it was restored in the early 90s with the participation of the Moroccan Ministry of Culture and the State of Portugal on the initiative of the Hial Muhad Association was soon to disappear and now hosts plastic arts and photography exhibitions. Al Taken Square and Al Qurakiyaya Tower, it is a rectangular square in the southwest side of the city, and the square stands out for its view of the Atlantic coast. He can tighten his grip on the city, and the tower has built its foundation in water and is connected to the city wall, which was also built on water. Al Qurakiyaya Tower and one side of Al Taken Square Raysauni Palace, the Raysauni Palace is located west of the city and enjoys a unique view of the ocean. The palace is characterized by a unique building history. It was built by the revolutionary Ahmed al Raysani from the ransom money of his kidnapping of the wife of a wealthy Greek who resided in Tangier. Kidnapping caused a Moroccan American diplomatic crisis at this time because the woman had American citizenship. Anyone who has visited this palace must be amazed by the beauty of its construction, the splendor of its construction, and the splendor of its inscriptions emanating from authentic Arab Islamic art. And a few artistic evenings. The entrance to the Raysani Palace has on IY Center for International Forums. The construction period of this facility dates back to the 15th century, when it was established as a granary to fortify the city against attacks from neighboring tribes. The building was restored and renovated, as at the end of the 20th century it became the main headquarters of the Asila Forum Foundation and a place for holding international conferences and forums bringing together thinkers, writers and poets from different countries of the world during the summer works of Al-Mutamed Ibn Abad University as part of the activities of the cultural season.
Alcadar Galen Palace, or Darat Gilan, which is a palace built in the Andalusian Moroccan style in the 17th century. It was built by the Emir of Asila, Mujahid Ahmed Alcadar Galen, after he took control of the city at the beginning of the 17th century. The palace is located opposite the mosque in the Kasbah district. Tomb of Sheikh Ahmed Al Mansur, the shrine is one of the most important religious shrines in the city, as it was built over the tomb of the Mujahid, who is said to have fought the actual Battle of Fatah in 1550. Unfortunately, the history has neglected to mention this feat of Mujahid. The city has also immortalized the names of its visitors and followers of the great poets by creating gardens bearing the names of these poets. Buland al Haidari in honor of the name of Iraqi poet Buland al Haidari Chakaya Atamsi in honor of the name of Congolese poet Chakaya Atamsi Tayeb Salah in memory of Sudanese novelist Tayeb Salah Mahmoud Darwish in memory of Palestinian poet Mahmoud Darwish Muhammad Abd al Jabri tribute to the memory of the Moroccan thinker Muhammad Abd al Jabri Ahmed Abd al Salam al Bakli in memory of the Moroccan poet Ibn Asila al Bar Ahmed Abd al Salam al Bakli Muhammad Aziz al Habibi in memory of the Moroccan poet and writer Muhammad Aziz al Habibi city circumference the surroundings of the city consist of four villages, Dagaliyan, Marguba, al Hafa, and Bautnaun. The cultivated area of this part is 1901 hectares spread over several varieties since its inception, the city of Asila attracted several mass and individual migrations, which caused it to experience great population growth. This population growth continued until the Portuguese occupation in 1471, when its population was estimated to 10,000 people. After the Portuguese occupation, its population was estimated at 36,000, 29,000 Portuguese, mostly military and their families, and 5,000 Muslims. This number continued to decline over the next two centuries as a result of the immigration of the Portuguese and their return to their homeland, or as a result of their migration to Latin America. The number of Muslims also declined as a result of immigration to escape the conflicts and wars the city experienced. Through a census presented by Augusta Maliris in his book, Le Miroc en Canu, La de Cavert de Jabala, at the end of the 19th century, the population of the city was estimated at 2,000 people, most of whom were Muslims, with a small Jewish community estimated at 5% of the population. And the 1982 census, the population of the city reached 18,781 inhabitants, and this number continues to increase due to immigration from neighboring villages, reaching 24,588 in the 1994 census, then 28,151 in the census of 2004, bringing the number to 31,825, according to 2013 estimates. Berbers are the first inhabitants of the city, established by the Mujahideen of the Berber Hara and Kathama tribes, after which the city became the center of the Hari tribe of the Bani Ziad. After the Andalusian immigration, these elements merged into the Andalusian component, subsequently creating the mountain identity. With the progress that the city experienced at the end of the 20th century, it attracted many migrations from outside the range of Jabala to which it belongs, especially from the eastern countryside, and for this we find that 64% of the population speaks the Amazigh language in its rural dialect and considers it their mother tongue, but the use of this dialect is often limited to the home and is only used outside as a vow. Like all regions of northern Morocco, the Andalusians play the most important role in the history and demography of the city of Asila, and the first mass of Andalusian migrations date back to the 2nd century of the Hijairo, which is the migration mass migration to the city of Sidon, followed by dozens of individual migrations until the end of the 16th century, when the city experienced a great mass migration represented by the migration of Muslims west from Andalusia to Portugal from today. The cities of Beja, Lisbon, Kassar el Sol and Chantrin are among the most important cities that export immigrants to the city. Today, the proportion of Andalusians in the city's population is estimated at 80%. It should be noted that the Andalusian style dominates the architecture in the city. The use of blue and white in homes is an Andalusian custom. The Idrisid migration during the 10th century AD is one of the earliest indications of non Andalusian Arab presence in the city, and many indigenous families still trace their lineage to this early migration. With the city's urban expansion, it has received many immigrants from the surrounding area, many of whom are concentrated in the Garbia tribe, of which Asila is the center. The origins of this tribe can be traced back to the Altaj Ribu al Hilali tribes and are largely represented by the Bani Hilal and Anza tribes. Since the middle of the 15th century, 
Several Jewish families from Portugal settled in the city to escape the persecution of the Inquisition in their original homeland. After decades, these families became among the wealthy families of the city, which led to a change in their relations with the Portuguese authority, and therefore the return of many of these families to Portugal or their journey to the Portuguese colonies of the New World. Full stop. At the end of the 20th century, the percentage of Jews in the city's population was estimated at only 5% of the population, and for this reason, they were mixed with Muslims and there was no private navigator for them. Comma because most of them lived in the outskirts of the city next to the Muslims. Their numbers continued to dwindle, especially after the migration to the Promised Land began. It should be noted that unlike most Jews in northern Morocco, most Jews from Asila migrated to the occupied Palestinian territories. Nothing remains of the Jewish presence except for the Jewish cemetery in the Lalarama district, which is still considered a Jewish shrine to which hundreds of Jews make pilgrimages each year to take pity on their dead and make offerings in their name. T is ironic that this city, which was once estimated to have 80% of the population, was European during the Portuguese occupation. Today, their percentage does not exceed 0.14% of the population. All are new immigrants after the independence of northern Morocco from Spain. According to the 2004 census, their number reached 43 people, of whom 34 are Spanish and 9 are French, while the number remaining is divided into different nationalities, led by the Portuguese, the English and the Russians. The port city of Asila is located in the center of the city and only 40 kilometers from the port of Tangier and 30 kilometers from the port of Larash. The port consists of a fishing port and a marina dedicated to the reception of tourist yachts. In the past, the city had a huge trading port for ships from all ports in the Mediterranean and the Atlantic Ocean. But most of it was destroyed during the Austrian bombardment in 1829. The field of tourism is one of the most active economic areas of the city of Asilla. Where the city attracts thousands of visitors every year to witness its historical and cultural effects and to participate in the Asila International Open Season Festival, which is an open artistic demonstration of plastic art in which hundreds of artists, amateurs and beginners take part city remains an open exhibition of the most important and beautiful paintings for a whole year. The city's beaches, which stretch for 17 kilometers, are also among the most important tourist attractions as these beaches attract thousands of holidaymakers from Morocco and the Iberian Peninsula in particular every year. Muslims make up 99.86% of the city's population, following the Sunni Maliki sect. With a great saturation of Sufi orders, the city, despite its small size, has eight corners, kankas for Sufis belonging to eight different orders, and these corners are as follows, al qadiriyah Hajj al qadiriyah Al-Alawiyah, Anwal Battle Street al darqoriyah Al Mijama District Al Katani Iya, Haj Al Katani Iya Al Ham Daushi, Ali Ibn Ham Daushi So Iya, Place Ibn Isid Ajain Iya, Ibn Isa Square Al Qadiri Iya Al Badshishi Iya, Doha Street. There are 33 mosques in the city spread across its neighborhoods. Christianity is the second and only religion in Medina other than Islam. 0.14% of the city's population owes it, which is a very small number that does not exceed 43 foreigners residing in the city most of whom follow the Catholic faith, and the Spaniards are among them the most religious and the most committed, and the service of this community is based on a single church dating from the period of the Spanish occupation, which is the Church of Santa Bartholomew. Most of the inhabitants of the city of Asila use the Arabic language with its mountain dialect 6.4% of the population speaks the Amazigh language in its rural dialect, but its use is often limited inside the home. 47.2% of the population speaks French while 15.2% of the population consider Spanish their second language, English is an understandable language for a good portion of the city's population. The city has seven educational institutions for primary education, two institutions for secondary and preparatory education and only one institution for secondary education. One of the most important forms of tourist attractions for the city is the Asila Season International Festival, which permeates all fields such as literature, music, painting and sculpture. During this festival, which lasts two weeks, from August 7 to August 22, the city is transformed into an open-air art exhibition that attracts visitors, creators and writers from all over the world the festival. This festival is supervised by the Asila Forum Foundation and the Summer University, Al-Mutamid Ibn Abad after the end of the festival, 
The city remains an open museum to exhibit the most beautiful murals and sculptures created during from the last session, for a whole year until the next session of the festival. One of the most important modern monuments outside the walls is the Prince Bundar bin Sultan Library, which was officially opened as part of the activities of the first Asila Forum for South South Sinumu in the summer of 2004. It is a magnificent building equipped with the latest audiovisual equipment and has a cinema room, another for reading, and another for cultural seminars which are held for days of festival, and the city de Asil are still recreating its spaces to keep pace with its ambitions to become the capital of Arab culture par excellence where work is underway to develop place Mohammed 5 with a new design. Please subscribe, like and activate the bell if you like the content, so we can continue for more give your opinions and suggestions in the comments so that we can develop the channel thank you.